Because YouTube is now filled with these paid sponsored videos about the Osmo Action 4, I thought I would make this short comparison between the old 3 and the new 4. And because I bought this with my own money, I can say whatever I want. You can decide yourself on the side-to-side -side videos in different shooting scenarios, should you go for the 4, or is it worth to upgrade? Because the Osmo Action 3 is actually still a very, very good camera. And I've loved using it ever since I bought it a year ago. It hasn't crashed even once. I never have to take the battery out from the DJI. The DJI cameras and the software reliability is a way above some of the competitors. You know what I'm talking about. Let's just check the cameras in different shooting scenarios and you can see which one is better, in your opinion. Okay, so let's first take a ride in this middle of the day, actually. It's like one o'clock. I'm interested in how the cameras handle the dynamic range when the sea is lit up and when you ride in between these trees the sun is shining through and there's a lot of dark areas as well in the scene so this is a good test of the dynamic range of these cameras all right the first impression is clearly that the Osmo Action 3 actually has a higher saturation and higher contrast, but that's only software manipulation. So I'm pretty happy about actually that uh, the Osmo Action 4 is a little bit more flat and neutral looking. It doesn't overly saturate the colors or the exposure. So here we can stop and look at the ocean. I'm kind of interested in how these cameras perform when they get glare from the ocean especially against the sun we're looking at the sun directly right now it's pretty clear that there's not much if any difference here and later on in the video i'm gonna do a night test and let's pan around a little bit Now it's just run to the bike. We can see the stabilization difference. I think the colors on the Osmo Action 4 are a little bit more neutral. And I think there's a little bit of a benefit in sharpness in the lower section of the image. These are both in rock steady mode at the moment because that's pretty much the only thing I use when I record my videos. So how do you think it's faring? Now this is a good dynamic range test as well. Let's see the bike. The bike is in the shadow right now. We are looking against the sun here. So is there flaring on either picture? Is it bad? Is it worse on the other? And the bike itself, can you see the bike in the shadow? or is it all black and dark? Is there a dynamic range difference? Is all the other areas around the bike are lit up with the sun? Again, these differences are very, very minor, but the old camera is overexposing the sky a little bit, and maybe the bike is a little bit better seen on the newer camera. So the sun is shining straight against the cameras at the moment and there's shadow on these walls here. I think the biggest difference in this scene is that you can see a little bit more on the older camera. The Osmo Action 4 is a little bit more cropped in. The field of view is smaller on the newer camera. So that could be actually a con of the new camera compared to the old one. And now the sun is on the side, the left side. The newer camera clearly renders the scene more flat. And because of the lower contrast, you can see the dashboard better in this scene. And now the sun is turned behind us, as you can see from my shadow down there. You have to really pixel peep to see any difference here, but so you can clearly see that the white van on the left side of the image is more detailed in the newer camera. You can see the shadow side 
of the building. And the same thing is happening with this white SUV. You can see more detail in the newer camera. Let's test the motorway speeds. The dashboard is now not lit with the sun because the sun is a little bit on our side. So can you see the speedo on both? Absolutely no difference. As we come to the shade here, you can probably see, see the difference in these two cameras. There's not as much light here. A tiny bit more detail in the foreground on the newer camera, but nothing to write home about really. What I'm trying to do is, I'm mean, going to try to get most of the normal riding conditions. Here for some reason both of the cameras started fogging up the lens, but the most apparent in the video is the newer camera actually. To both of these cameras, so you can make up your own mind if it's worth to upgrade from the 3 to the 4, or if you're buying the DJI for the first time, you can decide if you want to buy the 3 because you can get them much cheaper now. You might save some money. So I'm trying to give you a helping hand here on deciding because I bought the 4 already. So you can choose yourself which one is adequate to your use. And I've seen a lot of reviews just walking around with the camera vlogging. I'm not really interested in that. I'm interested in high pace, fast action, helmet camera stuff. So that's what I'm providing you. If you use these cameras like this, like I do, this is how they look side to side. Again, you see a teeny tiny bit more detail in the newer camera and the older camera keeps saturating the greens all over the top. And look at the sky, it's not as overblown in the new camera, so it's a little bit better on the dynamic range. Specs are almost identical on these cameras, otherwise it's uh, the real world test is I, I think most important. Can you actually see the difference and is it going to make your content any better? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> dripping, dripping from my shoes. Again, you can see a little bit more detail in the pants, in the shadow areas of this image. Okay, it's time for the nighttime test. Maybe it's time for the bigger sensor to redeem itself because it hasn't been that much different on the daytime tests. So let's see if it makes any difference now that it's night. Okay, here's where the big sensor starts to shine, but it's not as simple as that. I will show you later. The big sensor gathers more light, so you can more clearly see the rabbit in this picture. There's a rabbit. So here's the same street that I did earlier today. Let's see this building. This is a bit more tricky than it seems at first glance. The image on the new camera seems a bit more clean, but also it loses a lot of detail compared to the old camera. I think there's a little bit more motion blur in the new image, so the shutter speed must be different. And probably the new camera is uh, removing the noise a little bit more harshly than the old one, because there's a lot more digital noise in the old camera. So even if the image is a little bit more pleasing to the eye, some of the detail is lost in the new camera.
and again in this scene you can see the motion blur on the new camera that you can't really see in the old one so freezing the motion at night is better on the old one in the default settings. And here the new camera is smoother and a lot less noise, but uh, actually some of the text and the dashboard could be even a little bit more detailed in the old camera. Once again, if we look at the storefront on the left side of the image, it's way more blurred in the new camera. So there's much more motion blur in the new picture than there is in the old Osmo Action 3. And in this very difficult lighting condition, the church is more visible in the new camera. First of all, if you already own the Action 3, I don't see much point in upgrading to the newest generation, as it's at best a very minor improvement. If you do, however, use an older GoPro like I do, the GoPro Hero 5, for example, this might be a very nice upgrade. But if you can find a good deal on the Osmo Action 3, I think you should go for that one, because the differences are very minor, and I don't really see a point in paying more for the camera just to get the newer number. But if you do, however, shoot a lot of night videos, then maybe the new camera could be better in some cases. I hope you enjoyed the comparison and got some useful information from this. Thank you so much for watching this all the way to the end. And I hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next videos. Bye.